One of the things I've been pondering recently is this thing of how to live life. Um, many people today read uh, self-help books, and I do too. I find some of them really helpful in terms of building a successful business or having a particular mindset to achieve certain goals. But are they really enough? And I have to say, I think the answer is, is a glaring no. Um, I d just a basic example, if you find yourself stuck in prison or something ridiculous like that, you cannot let yourself out because you don't have the key. And what you find is you might have the right mindset to get you through those dark, depressing, wet and unpleasant circumstances of being in prison, but you will never be able to let yourself out of that prison unless someone unlocks the door for you, unless someone provides you with a key to move you out of that room into another room. And that's kind of this whole thing, isn't it? Um, you can live life a certain way, but unless you're influenced by other people, unless you're in relation with other people, you're always stuck in one particular room. And the very act itself of uh, reading a self-help book is the evidence thereof needing other people, needing a key. Uh, and that is dependent upon other people's insights, other people's giftings, other people's social contact. We cannot survive alone. That's not a weakness, that's a strength. There needs to be a balance, of course. We can't just rely on other people, that's toxic. But we can't just rely on ourselves, that's also toxic. We need each other, but it's only us who can use the keys other people give us to move into our areas of success.